Five indisputable indications that your parent is a covert narcissist. If one of your parents is physically, emotionally, or verbally abusive against you, this may be an indication that they have malignant narcissism. Because the abuse is often masked by a flow of loving words, a child living with a narcissistic parent and their community of enablers may be confused about who is at fault. Truthfulness and fake niceness fall into the same category. Removing the mask is a process that requires some time. You won't get it until this happens. Thank you very much to everyone who has watched this video. Following are the five strongest reasons to believe that your parent fits the profile of a cohort or a covert narcissist. Definitely think about signing up for this if you think it sounds interesting. Okay, so let's get going. Number one, initial shows of affection are usually only a prelude to your parent abandoning you. When their children are young, cohort narcissists usually excel as parents. However, narcissists often reveal their abusive, dark side when their children reach adulthood. At first, the narcissistic parent seems to genuinely care about you and eagerly share you with others. However, as you advance in years, they alter becoming cold and uncaring, and thereby showing more of their true nature to you. Maybe you're confused as to why. If a narcissistic parent stops being there for their dependent child, they may resort to abuse since they still view themselves as the center of their child's universe. More intrigue is intended as you learn more about your tastes and interests, and by extension, about who you are and where you fit in the world. By making you feel guilty and obligated by rewriting the past, your covert narcissistic parent will be able to maintain power and influence over you even as you display your adult independence by fair abandonment. They use manipulation of your growth to keep you from reaching a point of maturity that would be advantageous to them. When you challenge their superiority, you risk having your ego hurt. They are open and honest about their egotism. Here it is, the poisonous creature that doesn't care about you and treats you with disdain. Second, they never give you any room to make your own decisions and demand that you rely only on them. In a nutshell, they ensure your continued reliance on themselves. They will actively meddle with your life, right down to the choices you make about what to wear and how to spend your time each day. You can no longer live normally without them. Despite the fact that you may believe they love you because they control your every move, they are actually stifling your potential. Narcissists are masters at making others feel inadequate and incapable of meeting their own expectations or matching their level of expertise. Ultimately, it's up to them to decide. To exert total authority over another person while convincing them that you're doing so for their own benefit. They want you to be completely dependent on them, like a newborn trapped in a body too big for it. You learn to cease making your own decisions and instead always defer to others. Thirdly, their actions disprove their words. Narcissistic parents often use platitudes like I love you to make themselves seem competent but their lack of actual emotion belies their outward confidence. For sure, they may act as though they miss you horribly or can't see themselves surviving without you. However, after you've experienced the truth for yourself, you'll realize how trivial it actually is. They had given up on you from the start, but you didn't know it. All that really counts to them is feeling unique and safe, and you gave them that you can disregard their phony compliments. When they realized they needed you to complete their plan, they said whatever they believed would convince you to join their side. Having a gentle and kind disposition. To put this in perspective, it took one man almost 23 years to accept the fact that his mother was a narcissist. It wasn't until much later that he realized his mother's displays of what seemed like genuine devotion were in reality, fake. To clarify, 
What I mean is that it may take decades for something like this to be fully uncovered, and in that time, people may not even be aware of its existence. It will take you a long time to realize that your entire life has been a lie because of the narcissistic abuse practiced by your parents and their generation. Warning sign number four, the majority of people don't see your parents the way you do. Some people who claim to know your narcissistic parent better than you could tell you that you should count your blessings that he is your father. Narcissistic parents will pretend to be overly concerned about you and their other children. You're worried and upset about this, and your parents' constant lectures and guilt trips don't help. When parents fill in the details, they rewrite history to demonstrate how much they wanted you in the world and how much they were willing to give up to make it happen. They make you feel inferior in this way so that you will feel obligated to pay them back. Because of them, what do you feel obliged to do? Simply do as they say and accept whatever punishment they hand down. They've conditioned you to believe that parents who truly care for their children can never be wrong and that there must be something wrong with you if you experience such pain as a result of their actions. One's first trauma bond is formed and gaslighting of oneself begins at home as a result of persistent rejection and harshness. Fifth, they're critical and harsh behind closed doors. You have to earn their respect and abide by their rules by being a nice child and upholding their standards as all of their regulations are conditional and predicated on a transaction. The more they like you, the more likely they are to turn to bullying, backhanded compliments and passive violence, even if they once liked you. They treat you differently since you aren't dressed in accordance with their standards. And it really shines when delivered with an air of superiority. The external demeanor, actions and body language of a person can frequently be interpreted to reflect their interior state of mind and emotions. In an effort to get acceptance from others, you tend to go out of your way to ensure the satisfaction of those around you. They won't necessarily harm you physically, but they will punish you. They have a hard time expressing their feelings, especially when they are furious, because they have been neglected and abandoned emotionally in the past. If you refuse to take part, they will punish you severely, possibly even psychologically. The spiritual injury you've sustained is beyond description. A lot of these seem familiar to you. That's sufficient, just don't entirely cut ties with them just yet. Let me know which of these symbols most accurately depicts your current emotional state before you go. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Please spread this video far and wide if you found it entertaining. In the following video, we can continue this discussion. We need to get to work immediately away on the fixes.